just wanted to update you on the irrigation analysis that I mentioned previously. Got some good results, um, so this video will explain them. Basically, um, we've been working on this irrigation analysis tool um, that's similar to Cisco, but um, obviously reduces the maps as I've discussed previously. Um, what I've done here is put the latest parameters in that you provided for K1. That's actually on the proposed service, not existing, just ignore that. We've got this tool to optimize flow rate so we can come up with a, it'll basically try and get the best flow rate at each furrow based on the a set cutoff time and target irrigation depth and obviously all the other parameters as well. So I've done this run with the furrows running in the southwest direction here and and we've got some pretty good results. I've set the time to eight hours. I did have it set it at um hundred percent so that means you would stop the water once it got to the end of the furrows. Um and then I was getting some um you know variable times and I thought to simplify the scheduling it would be a lot better if this was consistent across the field. So eight hours is around the um the optimum for that you know for the field. Well now if you set this to hundred percent and you you look find the best flow rate it was around I think it was like six hours or something like that. So anyway, we're going eight hours here. We've got a target irrigation of 70. I had that at 50 initially, and then I took it up to 100. And then we get pretty good results. It's, I think the best results at 70. So that's how we've got done it. These water values here is what we use to optimize on. So we're trying to maximize the water. It's actually a term we've come up called irrigation gross margin. So basically, the irrigation gross margin is uh, the number of megalitres that you. So that's a cost to you. So inflow costs of fifty dollars per megalitre of the water you put on. Then the water that gets into the root zone, that's worth four hundred and fifty dollars to you. And if you don't meet the root, if there's a root zone deficit, so you don't get to your seventy millimetres, um, then you there's a a penalty of $400 per megalitre. Then the deep drainage we've got $500 per megalitre. Initially had this at, at zero um, and wasn't getting basically you know it would just keep irrigating until the root zone was full. So I've taken that to 500 and getting good results. That would be and it's a negative so it's a penalty of five hundred dollars per megalitre, meaning that if you were short of water and you and it was limiting that you could you know irrigate another hectare of sugar cane, then theoretically you you were losing that gross margin of of this you know four hundred fifty dollars. So that's where it kind of comes from. And then there's an extra I've got an extra penalty of fifty dollars in there, saying if the water you know the the cost of actually if you started getting rising groundwater problems and you had to come up with a solution for that then there's an extra cost so I'm still trying to work out the best version of these numbers but these would change depending on what your situation was runoff value I've just got zero here theoretically if you're recycling it that should be you know it should be at least probably 40 so it's the, cost, it's the value of the water to you if you reused it on another uh, another field less the pumping cost so probably 40 or something like that but anyway these are some numbers that I've been using and, and got pretty good results so when we run that, it takes um, a while to run. I won't run it now, but these are the results we get back. So we get back irrigation depth, um, irrigation cutoff time, and irrigation inflow rate. Uh, so this is the one we're trying to optimise, and this will, in this case, it's constant at eight hours. So this is the result for infiltration depth. Actually, let's just look at the summaries for a start. So this is K1, we got 53 hectares, inflow depth is the average across the field. So this is that megalitres converted to a depth. So we've got, we put on 117 millimetres of water, which is put over a megalitre hectare. And our root zone of that 117 
Nag leader 67 got into the root zone. Run off 49 millimeters. That's I've just noticed that now. I didn't know it was that high. Uh, so we might have to tweak our water values to get that down lower. Deep drainage isn't isn't very high at all here. And those some numbers in in megalitres for the 53 hectares is that number. If we look at the proportions, so we've got 100% of the water is inflow. Of that, 57% got into the root zone. Of that, 0.6% was below the root zone. 42% runoff. So that's a pretty high number. But it is showing, I guess, that you're better off, you know, in terms of gross margin, you're better off running the water. And we're not even putting a value on recycling here, which is interesting. Which would push that up higher. Okay, target irrigation depth 70 millimeters. So root zone satisfied 95.8. Irrigation gross margin $13,400 per irrigation, meaning that if you multiply these megalitres out by the irrigation analysis, these values here, you would end up with um, that value down there. So on a furrow by furrow basis, we're actually um, trying to op we're trying to maximise this irrigation gross margin. Okay, so if we look at the irrigation depth, so we're trying to get to 70 millimetres, which is between the orange and the yellow. So you can see it's quite uh, the top end of the field is over 70 millimetres, which you'd expect, and the bottom end goes from 70 down to 60. There's a bit there's a, some down here at 60. We can look in that, we can actually look at these results in profile view. Which is really useful. Let's start up this end. So the dark blue line is our infiltrated depth multiplied by 10. So basically we're the distance between that red line and the blue line is the infiltrated depth um, multiplied by 10 just to get a, a difference in those two lines. So you can see here it's, and then this, this light blue line is our target um, of, we're trying to get to 70 millimeters, which is equivalent to 700 millimeters once you multiply by 10. So you can see up here we're, we're pretty right on the 70 millimeters, just over at a touch. And yeah, that dark blue line should be just under the light blue line there, and we've fixed that in a in a, the latest version of the software, but it's pretty close. So as you can see, as you get in the field, it gets it gets um, less. And we're just a bit under the target irrigation depth here, so we can look at that across the field. It's very close, very close. Very close. You can see the bottom is very good. Um, if you block the furrows off, obviously you get a bit more down the bottom. So you can see how well that tracks the target depth across the field. Okay, so yeah, that's. Very interesting here we've got because we're running for eight hours it's all yellow so we run it irrigation cut off time irrigation inflow rate so this is our optimum inflow rate um, done on a furrow by furrow basis so you can see it ranges from these shorter furrows or even the shortest furrows you know, we'd, we'd probably get rid of these furrows anyway because they're and yeah, just slice the field off here somewhere so these shorter furrows but um, yeah, the shortest far is here, which is like 300 meters. You can see it's below 2.7 liters per second. These ones here, which are about 400 and I think 400 long, they're around the uh, three liters a second. And then it goes up. Uh, in this area here, it's up around four, and then here it's a bit higher. Now that must be because just the difference in slope there. But that difference there could be quite similar. So, you know, it's around the, let's say, 4.2 litres per second here you'd, you'd run, and here you'd run around the, um, the 3 litres a second. 
Now, I've had a discussion with Bill Barrett about, around their, um, about their irrigation outlets and, and how their um, two litres a second is, is nowhere near enough. And they agree, and they've been working on a solution for that. They have come up with some outlets to get it up to at least four litres a second, from about two to four, with yeah, a tweak of the um, outlets. And and I think there's scope to, to go higher as well, probably up to six litres a second at least with it. And they're just widening the outlet a bit. They say that they've tried larger outlets and they've I've been having some leakage problems, but I think if they've got a 40 millimeter diameter outlet at the moment, if they went to 50 millimeters, that should get them from four up to six liters a second with the you know low heads that you've got. So yeah, that's a um, quick overview of what we've been working on for this irrigation optimization, and that's the results.